Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure all of you guys are aware, Rockstar Games have officially released the Agents of Sabotage DLC. And as I'm sure a lot of you guys are also aware, I put my neck on the line a few weeks ago talking about Rockstar Games releasing a bunch of unreleased police outfits into the game that I had a feeling they would be releasing with this upcoming DLC. Now, a lot of you guys logged on today and saw that there was no police outfits available and i seen the comments flooded in from you guys asking me where the hell are all of these police outfits even a few of you guys questioning my credibility saying that i lied now some of you guys may not be aware that i rarely put my neck out on the line like i did however when i do it usually is with good reason now thanks to some of the most credible data miners in the gta 5 community we do know we are going to be receiving a bunch of police outfits with this dlc in the form of drip feed content now i do have gameplay of all of these police outfits which i am going to be showcasing for you guys in today's video so as always if you do appreciate me getting things right as always and keeping you guys up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all i ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so for the past few weeks i have been talking about a ton of the unreleased cops and crooks dlc content which rockstar games plan to release four years ago this dlc was by far the biggest dlc that rockstar games have ever made to date including over 800 game files now like i said i've been making a few videos giving my predictions as to what rockstar games would be releasing as i have been making videos on this game since the release and speaking to rockstar games insiders and data miners you can always get a good idea of what they're about to do so like i said if you guys are wanting to get all of the latest gta 6 news way before anyone else on youtube make sure you guys are subscribed or you are going to be left out in the rain now as i was saying with rockstar games creating over 800 game files for this cops and crooks dlc which they ended up scrapping this is the reason why they've included a ton of random police content in the past three dlcs we've received a bunch of free mode events like coming across police crime scenes we've also received the police mini heist which introduced us to a police officer known as vincent we've also got a bunch of different police vehicles we can purchase in the game now and if you guys are inside one of these police vehicles you can also launch the police dispatch missions so it didn't take a genius to work out that eventually rockstar games would be releasing a bunch of police outfits to match up with all of this police content that they have been rolling out into the game for the past two years now now thanks to a data miner known as arthur 1781 we do have gameplay of what these police outfits are going to look like so as you guys can see on screen the first police outfit that rockstar games will be releasing in the coming weeks will be known as the winter lspd officer with a tie so as you guys can see on screen the classic lspd uniform we've got the badge the hat with the badge the belt walkie talkie and what looks to be a name badge i know a lot of you longtime subscribers on my channel have glitched this outfit over the years and like i said rockstar games ended up blacklisting it as i mentioned in the previous video because this was a sign they did plan on releasing it eventually so like i said if you guys have been watching my videos regularly over the past few weeks you would have already known about the first outfit being the winter officer with a tie now we also have another version of this lspd outfit which is basically identical to the previous one however as you guys can see on screen it just doesn't come with a tie personally i think this one looks a bit more better i'm not a big fan of the hangman high tie but leave a comment down below out of these two lspd officer outfits which one are you guys going to be using patrolling the streets of los santos now for you og viewers you would have known that we should have been really receiving these police outfits with the summer update 
which was only released about five, six months ago, of course, for the summer DLC. And Rockstar Games have actually gone ahead and finally released the summer LSPD officer outfit, as you guys can see on screen. And as I spoke about in a previous video, not too long ago, we did know there was different variations of all of these police outfits and i had a feeling there was going to include a short sleeve one as you can see a lot of police officers currently in the game wearing long sleeve and short sleeve shirts so once again it is a good thing to see rockstar games are catering to both markets by adding a winter lspd officer outfit along with a summer one and just like the winter outfit with the summer outfit we can also apply it without the tie however funnily enough i think the summer outfit does actually look a bit more better with the tie unlike the winter outfit and leave a comment down below what ones do you guys prefer the winter or the summer police outfits now another outfit that i spoke about a few weeks ago was of course the highway patrol outfits we do know with all of the police vehicles in the game we can get highway patrol liveries and we did also know from the game files the rockstar games already made some highway patrol outfits so as you guys can see on screen we are going to get this awesome looking winter highway patrol with a tie a very detailed outfit has some high top leather boots with some beige pants a very compact belt with two pouches and a walkie talkie leading up towards his chest also comes with the highway patrol badge as well as an awesome looking new blue police helmet we did know rockstar games had a few different police accessories in the game files so it is good to see that they are including them with these outfits and just like the previous outfits if you guys aren't a big fan of the tie you can also remove the tie from the winter patrol outfit and don't worry when rockstar games release these police outfits there is going to be a bunch of clothing glitches that you can use to merge these police outfits to come out with your own unique style and leave a comment down below and let me know if that's something you guys would like to see me do however moving away from the winter highway patrol outfit we have also got the summer highway patrol outfit with a tie and just like the winter patrol outfit very similar but instead of having a long sleeve shirt you will have a short sleeve shirt and then once again you will also have the option to go ahead and remove the tie from this outfit so it is good to see that rockstar games are finally releasing a unreleased police outfit from the cops and crooks dlc that was originally meant to be released four years ago i do still know about some more police outfits that rockstar games have hidden however it is a start to see them still rolling out eight of these unreleased outfits now it is worth mentioning of course rockstar games did give us a challenge last month to raise 20 trillion dollars by completing different heists every single week and by doing so they promised us the noose police outfit which you guys can see on screen and if you guys aren't aware i actually covered a bunch of different glitches showing you guys how to get this outfit so whether we completed this challenge or not you could have still obtained this outfit however like i said good news is we have completed the 20 trillion goal so rockstar games will be delivering this noose outfit to everyone very very soon however it is also worth mentioning it's not only the police noose outfit that we have received for completing this highest challenge you can also make your way onto the warstar cash and carry website and claim the free police predator boat which you guys can see on screen so for all of you guys that were questioning my credibility maybe go back and do some research on my channel i have got over 2000 videos posted on gta 5 and a lot of them have been dlc predictions going way back seven eight years ago so stay tuned for some more videos dropping tonight where i will be showing you guys some more unreleased upcoming content that rockstar games will be dropping into the game very very soon and to make sure you guys don't miss these videos make sure you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button and if you guys do want to keep up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news before i post my videos then do be sure to go ahead and join my discord server which will be linked in the pinned comment underneath this video and if you do want to check out some more content from today's dlc i'll also leave a link to a playlist covering all of the brand new content down low in the comment section nonetheless that is going to do it for me guys as always if you do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest news and leaks 
All I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below. And if you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in my next video.